At this point, I'd like to talk some more about moving around in the viewports, as well as explain the axes that you see drawn in each viewport. Now, if I go to my top viewport, and I want to just move the area that's showing, I'll hold my right mouse button and drag. As you can see, my cursor changes into a little hand, and we're moving the viewport around. Now, here at the center are two lines, green and red. These represent the two axes, which are drawn on my construction plane, along with the graph, as you can see, broken into large squares and smaller squares. Now here, my Y and my X diagram here demonstrate to me how the axes work for my top viewpoint. Up is Y, and horizontally across is X. Now if I pan far enough, I can get to the edge of my graph, edge of my construction plane, and we'll talk a little bit later about how you can increase or decrease the size of the plane in terms of the graph that is displayed for you. The front viewport is showing me the z-axis and the x-axis. My right viewport shows me z and y. Now my perspective viewport shows me all three. As you can see, as I hold my right mouse button down, what I'm actually doing is not panning, but rotating in the perspective viewport. Now naturally, you may need to pan even in the perspective viewport. Now to do that, what I'm going to do is hold shift and then hold my right mouse button. And now, as you can see, it changes into the hand and allows you to pan around the viewport. 